Okay, so here's the merge software. For this example, I'm going to place two parts with two different datums with two electrodes sparking those two parts. First of all, I need to add a part. I can find this through Windows Explorer or if I know where the folder is, I can jump straight to it. So in this case, I'm going to jump straight to the folder. Here is the file that has the XYZU orientation from the CMM for the part. So I save that. I select a datum. I, can, I have a choice of how the datum is set, so I can set it on the machine. If the datum is already set on the machine, or I can use that CMM data, which is the one I've selected there. So the CMM file I want to choose is there. You can see the information related to it. The P reference point is the point on the machine where I'm going to put the part. So I want to put this into position one. A tank height, so the dielectric is above the part. So that's just the part height. If I want to set that on the machine, I just need to select that little checkbox. Um, okay. So I repeat that. I'm going to jump straight to the folder. This time you can see that datum is used, so I'm going to use a different datum. Again, I want to set on the CMM. I'm going to select the offset. This time I want to use position 2 and the part height. It's as simple as that. So now I need to add electrodes to this. So again, I can find through Windows Explorer, I can jump straight to it. So I'm going to jump straight to the folder. This is the NC file for the sparking process. I want the tool position or the pocket position on the machine in position one. A different type of machine in operations. In this case, I'm going to use forward rollover. All the information is automatically loaded and found. If I don't want to use the CMM data, I have that choice if I want to set the electrode on the machine. Okay, add another electrode. I'm going to jump straight to the folder. This time I want to use a different electrode, so just through Windows Explorer, find the NC file, it's found all the information. I'm going to put that into pocket position 2, same machining process. It's found all of the information. Is it, if it doesn't find the information, this will go red and let you know what's missing. Okay, done. Simple as that. Merge that for re traceability and recordability, who actually merged the program. So now it's given me a setting sheet and an NC file. If I just open the setting sheet, you can see the name of the merged folder. So that goes into a folder that you just put on the machine. There's an NC file called that. The different jobs or parts, the different datums. So you will put that onto position one ticket. Do I run it? And make sure the tank high is right. Simple as that. You would put the electrode, that electrode into tool position one. Say you've inserted it and it's the correct orientation and so on. So basically that is how the merge software works. Obviously it can, it can do a lot more than that, but at a basic level, that's, uh, that's how it works. Okay, thank you.